my name is Chris Hammond. I'm a solo practitioner in Unadilla, New York. I still vividly remember the magic moment one day back in September 1960 when I first used visual recognition of letters of the alphabet and the principles of phonics to sound out a word for the very first time. I squealed with delight and shouted to my mother, I can read! It was as if I had broken some sacred ancient code, unveiling mysteries previously unknown to mankind. In that moment, I opened the door to a vast new world of knowledge and understanding, and my life has never been the same. No less dramatic was my introduction to ultrasound in 1996. After listening to a talk by Dr. Sandra Curran at a continuing education meeting, I was hooked captivated by the thought of what this new means of evaluating the bovine reproductive tract could bring to my understanding of my patients and to my practice. I have not been disappointed. At the time, I had just left the comfort of a group mixed practice to embark on a solo career path devoted exclusively to ruminants. The finances of my fledgling business were, naturally, a bit tight so I carefully made conservative economic projections of income and expenses prior to purchasing my first ultrasound machine. Despite my enthusiasm, I was still somewhat concerned about the willingness of my clients to embrace this new technology. I needn't have worried. Although adoption was slow at first, it increased rapidly, and by 2004, not only was I no longer doing any routine rectal palpation, but I was easily able to pay cash for my next, more sophisticated ultrasound machine. Next year, I will turn 60, and sometime in the next decade, though it's hard to believe, I'll probably retire. So why, at this juncture, am I seeking to win an easy scan? Quite simply, it's because I'm still that excited six-year-old at heart, and now I delight in sharing with students the thrill of using ultrasound. I've lost track of how many students I've hosted as externs in my practice over the past 10 to 15 years, but I have placed an ultrasound machine in the hands of each one of them so that they can spend several hours a day gaining experience scanning while also palpating cows. In my conversations with them, I have been amazed at how little opportunity they have in school to use ultrasound for bovine reproduction. In the past, I have always had to beg, borrow, or, usually, rent an ultrasound machine for student use. The cost of doing this has limited the number of students that I can host in any given year. I would like to be able to offer externships to more students, but in order to do that, I need a dependable, good quality machine for students to use, preferably a machine like the one they will encounter in practice. The clear choice for that machine is an easy scan. Please help me to share the joy and benefits of ultrasound with soon-to-be bovine veterinarians by donating an easy scan to me, Chris Kamen, at Ruminant Health Services in Unadilla, New York. You will not be disappointed with your investment.